Hello students, today I am going to discuss with you a graph which has been seen on the 22nd of June 2019 in India and some time ago it was uh, reported by some students in China. So these graphs are uh, being repeated. Uh, the pie charts and the table below show the percentage of tourists traveling to Australia and specific information regarding uh, their staying period, accommodation and the purpose of their visit. Purpose of visit. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. So you can see this is the pie chart. In this, their percentage of tourists is given. Asia 37%, Europe 35%, USA 18% and other nations 10%. And this is a table in which uh, uh, three things are given average length of stay, accommodation and main activity. So average length of stay uh, in days is given, uh, main accommodations and the main activities that they do there. So let's see how to start writing this. The, this graph you can see that no time is given so this has to be written in the present tense. The given pie illustrates the percentage of tourists from Asia. The given pie chart illustrates the percentage of tourists from Asia, Europe, the USA and other nations to Australia. The table shows their average stay, their accommodation and the main activity they did there. So this is the introduction in which I have talked uh, the main uh, purpose, the main thing which has been given in the question, what the pie chart is telling and what the table is telling. Overall, now the overview is here, uh, the maximum tourists are from Asia. The maximum uh, tourists are from Asia, whereas the minimum are from the other nations. Uh, this is just 10, 10%. Excluding the US and Europe. So the other nations, if I just write minimum are from other nations, then Asia and other nations, it is not specified that we would, then uh, USA and Europe would also be included in other nations. If I don't, don't talk about, uh, like if I don't write excluding these or except for these. So overall, the maximum tourists are from Asia, whereas the minimum are from the other nations, excluding the USA and Europe. The Eurasians are fond of sightseeing. Whereas those from America and other nations like water activities, like swimming, sunbathing and surfing. So here I have talked about the percentage of tourists, the maximum and the minimum. And then I have talked about uh, what main activity they do there, Eurasians. So those who stay in Europe are called Europeans and Asians. And together we call Europe and Asia as Eurasia. So we can say Eurasians. Eurasians are fond of sightseeing because it's given here sightseeing and sightseeing for Europe and Asia. So Eurasians are fond of sightseeing uh, whereas the uh, those from America and other nations like water activities like swimming, sunbathing and surfing. So this is all about the overview. Now I come to the main body and one paragraph I'll make of the pie chart in one of the table. From the pie chart, it can be seen that Asia and the Europe together made up make up. Asia and the Europe together make up a little less than three quarters of the total visitors. That Asians and Europeans together make up a little less than three quarters of the total visitors with 37% coming from Asia and 35% from Europe. So you can see uh, Asians and the Europeans together. This total would be 72. So it's a little less than three quarters. So As Asians and the Europeans together make up a little less than three quarters of the total visitors with 37% coming from Asia and 35% from Europe. Just under a fifth. So a fifth is 20 and just under a fifth, this is 18, just under a fifth tourists are from the US whereas 1 in 10 are from the other nations. 
so for 10 we write 1 in 10 so here I've used the typical vocabulary which has to be given for the pie charts so I've given uh, things like 1 in 10 just under a fifth uh, a little less than three quarters and all this is the vocabulary of the pie charts and I've used the present tense it can be seen from the table that Asians spend the smallest holiday of only seven days. So this is just seven days. But the Americans and Europeans spend almost double the time. Americans and Europeans spend almost double the time. Seven days, this is 14 and 16. So almost double the time. Those from the other nations spend around 10 days. As far as the accommodation is concerned, Five-star hotels and four-star hotels are common among the Eurasians. Um, see, this is Asia, five-star hotel, Europe, four-star hotel. So they are popular among the Eurasians while the Americans and all other tourists stay in camps or caravans. So this is American, they stay in camps and caravans. And uh, the, these stay in five-star and four-star hotels. So this is, uh, and I've already written about the main activity in the overview. So I'll not be repeating anything here. Uh, this has made up almost 190 words, which is pretty much okay. Uh, and you can see that I've not put any data in the overview. Uh, uh, I've just put the data in the body paragraphs. One paragraph I've made for the pie chart and one for the table. There is no repetition here. I've used uh, comparison words like the maximum, minimum, and the other vocabulary that would be very uh, good to learn for all of you is uh, the uh, nationalities. See here I've used very nicely Europeans, Asians, Americans. So you must do the nationalities. Uh, you may get any other uh, country here. And if you know the nationality, it would, add, it would add to your lexical resource in the graph. So I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this graph. Thank you very much for watching patiently.